Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today we're going to talk about our new product, the, the uh, Water Pro Well Stop device. This is a great device for preventing uh, a water line break in your house from flooding your basement or from flooding your crawl space or even uh, first floor if you, if you have a utility room on your first floor. This can be used with any type of off-grid water supply, whether it be a well, a cistern, spring tank, anything where you have a, uh, an electric pump uh, uh, supplying water to your house. For this demonstration, we're going to install it in a standard pressure switch. Um, in, this, in this case, we have the, the pressure switch wired as it normally would be. We have the, the, uh, the line supply coming from your electrical panel and then um, transferring power to your load end of things, which would be your pump. Um, in order to install the Water Pro well stop, we're going to snake this cabling through one of the knockouts on your pressure switch. Once that's through, you're going to have a red wire, a white wire, and a black wire that has this, this, uh, connect, this connector uh, on it. You're going to find the, the hot wire coming, uh, supplying power to your pump. So in this case, this is the, this is the pump side of things. That's power going out to the pump. Here's the black wire. This is going to be the hot. Of course, you're going to disconnect the power from your panel. So you're not uh, going to electrocute yourself. And then once you find the, one of the hot wires, you're going to disconnect it from the terminal on the pressure switch. You're going to use this connector here. Uh, and on the empty side, you'll pull up this orange tab, insert the wire into this connector, and then secure the orange tab back. If you pull on it, that wire should not come out. Now you're going to take the red wire from the Water Pro well stop and connect it to where you just disconnected the black wire. So the, the empty, the now empty terminal on the pressure switch. Tighten this all the way. Then with the white wire remaining, you're gonna find the, uh, the white wire from coming from the panel. So if we follow this, it's going to this terminal here. We're gonna take this screw off. Put this screw through the white wire from the water pro. Tighten that down a little bit and then insert this wire in there too. So there's going to be two white wires on this single terminal. And again, this is the neutral leg coming from the panel. Now this is a 115 volt installation. On a 230 volt installation, um, it's it, it actually wires the same way. It's, the only difference is that these two wires right here are probably going to be red in color instead of white but with a 230 volt model you're still only interrupting one of the hot legs supplying your pump so this is this is what the end product will look like when it's wired in you'll tuck this in maybe even put some electrical tape around that just to just to make sure it doesn't short out you want to make sure that there's no uh, bare wire exposed here. It should be all encased in this connector. We'll replace the cap for the pressure switch. And then we'll set this water pro on the floor, um, ideally close to your pressure tank or under your plumbing, um, where it can detect water. So as soon as these sensors on the bottom get wet, it's going to open the contact for uh, your power supply going to the pump, which will cut the power supply off for the pump and prevent your house from, from flooding. It's 
This device is available in 115 volt and 230 volt. You want to make sure to match the voltage with your water pump at your house. Um, it comes with 15 feet of cabling so you can um, configure it in several different ways coming off this pressure switch. We hope this has been helpful. Thank you as always for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really, uh, really helps us a lot. And uh, as always, this product and all of our other cistern and well-related products are available at our website, www.rainbrothers.com. Thank you.